we have the, I, I want to call him the infamous, you know, he's, he's a, a motivational speaker, he's a father figure, he's a coach. Okay. To many, the, the, Ted Ginn. Yeah. Welcome to the show, sir. Thanks for having me. How you me. doing? Okay, oh, yourself. Oh, I can't complain. It's really good to have you on. So and now, this man has coached. I mean, we can go on today. He's coached Heisman Trophy winners. Yes. You know, he's had, I mean, he's taken at risk young men in the city of Cleveland and, and, and making a difference, a positive role model, um, and, and providing some options for these young men. I'm um, sure. taking young men down the. Let's talk about it. Let me not tell your whole bio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we do want to start with, you know, where you grew up at, where you went to school, and all that kind of thing. Well, originally I'm from Louisiana. Louisiana. Okay. okay. And I was born in a little town called Bogalusa. Bogalusa? Yeah, Bogalusa. Yeah, I stayed in a town called Franklin. That's about 60 miles out of New Orleans. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I grew up in basically in Cleveland. I, after I was 11 years old, I came here. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I'm from the Glenville area. Okay, so you've been here since 11. Yes. So you do call Cleveland home. Oh, no question. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, you know, did you attend and, and graduate from Glenville? Yes. Okay. Graduated okay. 1974, been coaching since 76. Since 76. So right, right wow. a couple of years after you graduated, yes. you started coaching. Yes. Okay. And, and been uh, making a difference in young men's lives ever since. No question. That's what it's about. Okay, now, did you ever think that you'd be in this position, this role, be able to say, have an impact on so many, so many folks? Mm, not in the beginning, no. I think the way I got into coaching, it was somebody was trying to do something for me, and that was Coach Hub at Glenville, mm -hmm. 1976. After I graduated in '74, and my my mom died, so he started he started me to coaching just to keep me out of the street. So, and I've been there ever since. Okay. 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 Well, let's talk about some of these greats, or maybe even some upcoming greats you've worked with in the past. But you know what, Anthony, I have a question for him, too. I want to know, you're, you've won so many uh, championships, mm -hmm. and you've made such a big difference in people's lives. I want to know, what is your coaching strategy? What do you teach these people? Oh, that's, that's easy for me. Just personally, just giving them love, passion, and understanding. Okay. That's the strategy that I use, period. Okay. That's that's what the children need. That's what that's what's missing in their lives, and then the, the trust factor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know, once you get that, you can they can do anything. Okay. You so know. before you go out on the field, what do you tell your guys? Well, you know, it's always about the love. Okay. It's always about you know we represent our school, our community, and we represent other kids just looking at you that want to be like you. Mm -hmm. So it's always about our community. It's always about our school. It's always about being the best that you can be, so, mm -hmm. you know. But so is that to say you're not like the the stereotypical tough coach who's you know like yelling at the guys and that no, kind of thing? No, not really. You know, sometimes I get to that point. Okay. But they take you there. I know. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, trust, I know. But basically, <laughs> it's, take you there. yeah. Basically, it's it's just about you know being proud. You know, I think when when you have some pride about yourself, you you. You know, you you have shame. You won't have you have you won't have any shame. You mm -hmm. know, and and we we proud all the time because we know that we we're in an area that success for young young guys is very low. So mm -hmm. we're always trying to prove that we're the best in the world. Let's talk quickly about the the Ted Ginn Academy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That, that was oh, it. Oh, the Ted Ginn Academy. Well, the Ted Ginn Academy is basically the same concept mm -hmm. that I use in football. You know, the discipline part, but just having the same concept of having love, passion, understanding, giving the kids the awareness that they can achieve and, and be the best in the world. And just be global leaders, you know, and just giving them an opportunity to be great people. Okay. And that's what the, the, the Academy is about. So you've made it through your... First year, just about. Yes, right. And so, anything you you regret, or something you want to try differently for next year? No, I don't regret anything. <laughs> you know. Let, I, me, let me ask you this: I want to know um, about because I have to admit I'm not the biggest football fan, and my husband hates that. Mm -hmm. But um, let's talk about your record. Ooh, <laughs> but I just had my hundred win in football this year. Uh, so I, I think I about, I'm about 100, 102 wins or something like that. But, you know, I really didn't know about that. I don't pay attention to that. You, you don't know? pay attention? No. Okay. Give me some names of some people, some people you've impacted, some lives who's been touched by Ginn. 
Well, it's so many that, you know, it will be here a while. Mm -hmm. I think the ones that you're familiar with, it will be my son, son be right. Troy Smith, Pierre Woods, Dante Whitner, uh, people like that. But the one, the most important ones is ones you don't know that, that have benefited from all the, the love and the passion and, mm -hmm. and the awareness that, that they got. And those guys are just guys that you know that have went that far. But the ones that, that, that is out there just being, I got lawyers, I got plumbers, I got doctors, I got all that kind of stuff that you don't even know about. Right, right, yeah. And that's and the so wins. Th that's the win. So that's the win. Yeah, well, it's yeah. All, all good. Ah, yeah. you don't <laughs> okay. even know, girl. Okay, <laughs> you know what? We got to get him together. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna go to a man. commercial break, but Wait, thank you. Before you go, so if, if someone wants to contact you at the school, want to come by and visit the school, or want more information about the academy. Good point, Anthony. Well, point. you know, you, we on Thirty Second and Payne, uh, 1740 East Thirty Second. You have to apply to get into your school. Yes. Okay, so you only take select uh, candidates or students for the academy. Well, you know, that's pretty rough for me to say, okay. you know, I, because I think everybody's a candidate. What grade levels? Well, we do ninth and 10th right now, so we'll be taking another 100 ninth graders. Okay. okay. Thank you again, Ted. Yeah, thanks okay. for having me. And we will be right back with